Welcome back to the Legend of Ligaya Let's Play. It is so great to have everyone here. Uh, sorry if my sound is a bit off. I updated Windows and now life is pain. Uh, <laughs> for some reason, it took. It didn't. Like, I usually when I update Windows, it'll like take the most random microphone it can possibly find. Like, usually what it'll do is it'll take the microphone that's in my PS4 controller, like the little tiny microphone that plays noises during games, and it'll make this my main microphone for everything. Like, in and out, it'll be like, yeah, this is it for your whole system now. Even though I have a Logitech big, like, microphone, or a stereo setup, and a headset, and a Yeti microphone on an arm. No, none of that. You want this thing. But usually, once I go in and fix it, it's fine. Uh, however, this time, when I updated Windows, uh, not by my own choice, uh, it took all of my sliders and just did random things. Some of them went up, some of them went down. I have no idea what they were previously. But, like, it just screwed with everything. Just not even what they were, but just the volume levels for absolutely no reason. So, I have no idea if the, the game is too loud or if I'm too loud. Chad has tried to help me out here and let me know, but I'm really not sure. I'm actually going to turn the game down just a bit more. We'll see what happens. I don't know. But, yeah. So, sorry if the sound sounds a bit different. Um, we've been talking this morning about our three-year anniversary. Uh, next, uh, two weeks from now, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, it'll be a week from now. Um, it's going to be our three-year anniversary of uh, having a sub button on Twitch. And, uh, we're doing a big event to celebrate. No pressure or anything, but if you do want to come, we're doing a bunch of giveaways and stuff. It'll be the 25th through the 30th. I'm doing a Saturday stream as well, which I usually don't do. So if you're someone that usually can't watch during the week, I'm doing a Saturday stream on the 30th. You can come to that. Giving away a bunch of gift cards and stuff. It's just going to be a good time. We're going to be playing a bunch of games that we used to play on the stream a long time ago. And uh, just having a nice little appreciation event for all the amazing stuff that everyone's done. Uh, for the stream over the past couple months, especially the last few months. Uh, you guys have just been absolutely incredible, and so just my way to uh, show some appreciation for all the love. But yeah, we're back on Legend of Gaia, and uh, I'm really excited to play more. Uh, we're in Zito's dungeon, and this is a really great part of the game. Um... And I have more to, more to talk about in terms of this dungeon, but we'll wait until later. But yeah, this is a really neat part of the game. Yeah, I hope everyone's been doing well. I know everyone's kind of still stuck indoors. At least in Ohio, we had some good weather. Give me that hand. Oh. Um, we had some good weather this last uh, week, so we were at least able to go outside, even if we weren't able to go anywhere. So that was nice, at least. I know my son is like starting to get really uh, annoyed at being inside all the time. He's getting restless. That can be that can be hard. It's hard to keep. It's like it's hard to get him to nap right now because he doesn't get enough energy out because we're stuck indoors. And that causes problems. It stinks. I still feel like, I feel like my mic is too low. Should I turn up my mic up more? 
it looks like it's not as high as usual. I see some people saying turn it up, some people not. So I'm going to turn it up, but only slightly. If I can... turn my monitor over just to see it. Uh... Alright. See how that see how that works. What well, what a disaster dude, I tell you what. Bryce, did I think of your 22 months, dude? Thank you so, so much. You've been uh, amazing to have around. Just an uh, amazingly positive person to have around. I appreciate it. Alright, I want this hand. I should have healed. Thank you so much for the tier 2 35 months. Insane amount of support. Thank you so, so much, dude. to this song. One of my favorite things is when uh, one of my favorite things is when they take the music from the uh, field and keep it in the battles. It makes the dungeon feel like more epic instead of just having the same battle theme. This is one of those dungeons where the music never stops. Speaking of dungeon, it's quite the maze. I think magic leaves are ethers. Yeah. By the way, also, uh, we made some upgrades to the stream. Probably nothing that you'll see that's like a super obvious change or anything, mostly because the game we're playing isn't going to look any better <laughs> uh, based on the, the stream settings. It's going to look better based on the console. Uh, 
Legend of the Guy already looks as good as it's ever gonna look, thanks to the Scarf uh, in the upscaler. But uh, in terms of like the remake or other things we play, uh, you should see a, a slight quality improvement. Uh, oh, nice. Nothing huge. What basically the the big change is um, hold on, let's do the big change is just to the actual stream itself. Um, the recordings are slightly better, but the stream should be a lot smoother. In fact, at this point, the stream pretty much is as best as I can get it without having better upload speed, which uh, around here is the best upload speed I can get. So I'm kind of hard stuck now. Rip 4K, Legend of the Gaia. <laughs> if only. If only we could get Legend of Gaia 4K VR. A man can dream. Burning Jewel. I think that's an important. Yeah. Increases defense against fire power. That'll help against the hands. Speaking of which... Yeah, like I said, uh, this game has been criminally underutilized. There's not even a classics, not even like a, a green label version of this game, I don't think. I think this game literally had a black label uh, release, and that's it. One black label release. Probably why it's so goddamn expensive now. still needs Vera. I missed one part of the dungeon. Tempest Jewel. That's what I thought it was. Give me a door to light now. Like, hey, you can leave if you want. Ha! 
Ha ha ha! Here comes the army of idiots to save the day. What courage! Perhaps idiots do not fear death. Oh, what comedy! Von, Noah, step aside. Leave Songy to me. Gala, how forgetful you are. It is I who defeated you once before. Have you forgotten how much stronger than you I am? <laughs> I love how he flex there. You must be suicidal to fight someone as skilled as I am in the fighting arts. Oh, how pitiful. Your extreme stupidity brings tears to my eyes. Well, come on. I'll finish you quickly so you'll feel no pain. Oh god, look at his face there. What happened to his face? Looks like a demon. He looks like, uh... He looks like an enemy from Rayman. Doesn't he? <laughs> I just remember he liked Rayman on PS1. So here's our first songy fight. And, uh... It's got a sweet theme. And it's only Gala, which is uh, a little scary. Yeah, this fight's no joke. Especially only having Gala. The key is to use magic because Gala has massive magic. Stats. By the way, whoever called him Vegeta before, <laughs> yeah, you weren't kidding. He literally has a Hadouken and everything. Not wrong. Look how big he is. Why is he so big? Look at him. Goodness. Wasn't it a uh, Gallic gun? It's been too long since I watched Dragon Ball Z. He might actually have a, uh... He might actually go between hyperwave and punches. Uh, apparently not. God dang, I, I still have to heal. I, I can't survive a hyperwave. How's it going, Zoo? It's good to see you, man. Oh my god! Well, this is a problem. I really need Vera, because I need, like, a better... I don't remember the difference between the healing shroom and the healing leaf. They both do the same. I need to use a healing flower. I did not mean to do that. I I hit right, then I was like, oh, I don't want that, so I hit left, but left was still leave. Yo, Bryce, think of the 2,500 bits, dude. Thanks so much. Thank God, dude. I could not sustain through that fight. I did get my new coffee pot, but I had one more of these drinks, so I'm drinking that first. 
I don't believe it. That Seru has made you much stronger than before. Flex. I am pleased. After all, a weak rival is so boring. We both use Seru. That makes us comrades. So let's call our little meeting today a draw. As a fellow Seru user, I'll tell you something you should know. The lord of this castle, Zito, is waiting for you all by the mist generator. God, I'll be very, very careful if you value your life. Don't lose to someone like Zito. Farewell. Just what is that guy up to, anyway? My apologies, apologies for taking so long. I don't like that Songi. I hate him. Next time he comes, I'll fight him, too. Oh, God, look at her face. She, <laughs> she looks like a thwomp. <laughs> yes, I suspect the day will come soon come when we shall have to fight him again. Oh, I thought he was going to say again, but he didn't. Now let's hurry to the misgenerator. I got a, a, a something. A metal ring. Here's his AP accrual. Give that to Noah. Another save point. Ooh, Gizams. I think... I think only Vaughn has Gizams. I never play on emulator. Especially for these Let's Plays. The Let's Plays in particular, I always play on original console as much as I can. Sometimes we have to make exceptions, but... I think the only... We made an, we made an exception for like one game. I can't remember what it was or why, but... Yeah. Other than a very rare circumstance, we always play on as original console as possible, because that's kind of the, the goal behind these Let's Plays, is that I wanted to uh, show off the games in their original state, give people a taste of the past, you know? So, that's the idea. Oh my god! Vaughn did so much damage! I was not expecting that. Bon angry. But yeah, me personally, even casually, I never play on emulator. The only emulator I've ever played on is uh, I did a emulated. I emulated Final Fantasy VII on PSX so that I could uh, do a specific Game Shark cheat to check out the. Uh, no water code on uh, on the emulator because it wouldn't work on the PS1. And I think we did that other we did that other cheat code on emulator as well. But uh, that's like the only time I've ever used an emulator. I think like ever, even casually. Yeah, emulators can be nice uh, when you own the game, but you don't want to, like, scratch it. <laughs> or, uh, you know. You own a game, but you want to play it on the go or whatever. 
But uh, yeah, please don't emulate unless you own the game. It's it's kind of silly to do that, um, especially because even even rare games, you know, the most you're ever gonna spend, the most you're ever gonna spend on a game, like I don't, I, I actually can't even, I don't think I can think of a game that's more than sixty dollars that you can't get somewhere else. Like for example, Chrono Trigger is like a hundred dollars to get the SNES version but there's a PS3 port for like ten bucks so at that point buy the PS3 port you know there's no need to emulate it just buy the PS3 port um, you know don't let a game being too expensive keep you from playing it in another way it's it's silly to emulate unless you own the game if you own the game then it's okay but it's silly to to emulate games you don't own, there's always a way to get it. There's always a better way to get it. Oh my! The mist generator is a machine that creates mist and a product of humans' evil desires. Can we really destroy something that big? With our faith, Ross, Saru, and humans can destroy this machine together. This machine does not belong on Earth. Let's go! Oh, here we go, boys. The mist is salvation. The mist is eternal. The mist is perfect harmony. You should have accepted the mist obediently. Instead, you resist so foolishly. I, Zito, will now put an end to your futile resistance. I know you. You're the one who bothered me at Mount Rikuroa. You did those horrible things to Terror the Wolf. I, I, I'll make you pay. That face when he's a crab demon, though. So here's the epic boss music. I friggin' love it. Um, also, this fight is ridiculous. I know I say that about every fight, but yeah, this fight completely obliterated me as a kid. I remember it fondly. Let's check out Gimmer. Or er, not Gimmer. Zenor. Somebody give me a side of butter for this crab. Yeah, this fight is a huge hurdle. <laughs> twice, which is kind of cool. So I'm spiriting here to get AP, but also because it gives me defense against his uh, big attack. You can see how much damage that did, even with spirit. If you don't spirit that, it will obliterate you. Damage. Oh my 
I might do. I might just do this. is only level 9 for this fight. That's pretty scary. I definitely need to do some leveling. Played a dangerous game. Yeah, someone had commented and said that uh, everything they say is in Japanese. And that's why it's sounds weird. Sounds hard to understand. But it's weird because some of the stuff is in pseudo English, because obviously. Like, obviously, he says Tornado Flame, so. But that's pretty common for games that end up making the trip over to the United States that they use, like, pseudo English for some things. Really hurt. If I have Gala use an item, it might not it might not pan out. That combo is just way too good. You get two like giant combos off. Ouch. <laughs> giant crab punch. That's all that all that attack was, is just one giant crab punch. I really wish I had MP. I'd love to use a magic attack. Let's do this. Let's do theater. I do, I just don't want to use them. You know, typical RPG gameplay. Never want to use ethers. It might be smart though. Because instead of my ethers, I'm using all my blooms, and the blooms are really good. Going Porsche. I'm the same way. Although I did play it a little while ago. Played it back in college. He's falling down after hits, so he's getting close. But yeah, this is. Uh, this game is very commonly referred to as that game I played once and forgot the name of. For whatever reason, it just seems to be the common consensus. Everyone always has that game that they like had as a kid and they forget what it was called and never played it again. And this game seems to be a really common uh, common culprit. A lot of people probably play the demo too. Yeah, but yeah that's exactly what this game was for me. And then I picked it up again in college and realized it's like one of my favorite games ever. And 
ever since then I've wanted to show it off in its yeah, entirety, so that. yeah, that's what that. we're doing. Please be dead. Oh my god, he's gotta be so close. And we're so low. Uh, okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna throw a healing leaf on Gala. We're gonna use Vera on Vaughn. And we're gonna punch him in the face. I think it's a mixture of the game having a slightly weird name, but then also having a Legend of name. <laughs> so, like, there were so many Legend ofs that uh, it got lost. Lost in the sauce. A lot of people probably played this game once and thought, like... Oh, is he dead? Yeah, we got it. A lot of people probably played this game once and was like, man, what's that Legend of game I used to play? And then they saw Legend of the Dragoon and were like, oh, that must have been it. You know. Take that, Crab Demon. How could I lose to humans? Is it because of those Rosseru? Urgh. Those Rosseru who don't even know the Miss Salvation? Forgive me, Prince Court. And he turned into glass and shattered. Fawn, Noah, Gala, are you ready to destroy the mist generator? No. This is a destroy all mist from the face of the earth. Are you ready? <laughs> we must work as one. Attack! I know, why even ask when you literally can't say no? They do that a lot in this game. Like, you say no and they're just like, what about now? <laughs> Are you ready now? How about now? Now? How about now? What about now? <laughs> Look at those graphics! Full motion video. For real though, this was pretty impressive given that this was a pretty early PS1 game. If I remember correctly. What year do we say it came out? I forget. Yeah, the CGI looks great in this game. Given that it's not a, you know, big Square Enix game or anything either. Or a Konami game or anything like that. I did see the Unreal 5 demo. It was amazing. I know some people are, like, complaining about certain stuff, but... I don't know. I enjoyed it. It brought me back to like those old days where I would get excited about graphics and stuff. Nowadays I don't really get excited about graphics anymore because it's all kind of the same. But uh, that got me like excited for the first time again in a long time. I was like, wow, look at what they're doing. It's cool. Probably the, the coolest thing about that was... Um, them saying that like it helps the artists more than anything um, because they don't have to worry so much about crunching stuff into frame rates and it's like easier for them to drop stuff in to the engine now and that was a big deal because like you can make stuff look as good as you want it doesn't matter if the artists don't draw it you know but like giving the artists more space to like do stuff quicker is actually what's going to make games look better. You know, you can you can look at games from the past as a testament to that. Like, you know, certain games could have looked better, but it's just the artists didn't have the ability to do it all, and they had to cut corners and stuff, or they had to lower. Like, uh, what's a good example? I think like, um, uh, what's that game? Um, I'm losing the name. Something Dogs. Watch Dogs. Um, Watch Dogs, the trailer they showed was, like, amazing. And then the final game looked like garbage. And it was because, like, the artists did a great job with, like, everything. 
but they had to crunch it so hard to get it down to the frame rate they wanted that it ended up looking like garbage. And so, like, that, if that is a thing of the past, then PS5 games are going to look incredible because that's, like, a lot of the reason that some games end up looking a lot worse than they should. So, that was a cool, that was a cool thing. And yeah, that final part where she jumps into the, into the canyon, oh my god, dude. That was sweet. Amazing! The Rossera were powerful enough to destroy that giant mist generator. Terra? Terra, are you sad? I can tell that you're crying, Terra. You're so kind, Noah. But don't worry about me. But... After all, the detestable mist that surrounded Drake Kingdom is now gone. But we mustn't rest yet. We still have to destroy those who created those infernal machines. Those are also people in other areas that's still suffering in the horrible mist. Resting now is the same as giving up. So as a kid, uh, before seeing that scene, I thought that that was the end of the game. Because, <laughs> like, Zito's the guy that attacks you at the beginning of the game, so it makes sense that he's the final boss. And he was a big fight, and you fight Songy right before him, and, like, I don't know, it all just kind of came together as, like, it almost felt like it could have been the end of the game. And back then, I didn't know how long games really were. I played Final Fantasy VII, and that game was super long, but other than that, all the games I played were pretty short, so I was like, oh, wow, is that the end? Little did I know, there's so much more to give. So the mist comes from some device called the mist generator. There must also be a mist generator in the north, which is still enveloped in the mist. Honorable Gala! Master Zopu, please, you mustn't call me Honorable Gala. I see. Well then, Gala, I want you to go after Songi. That's Seru on Songi's arm. Obviously, it is not a Raseru. And I cannot help but suspect the influence of some evil presence. Zito, perhaps. Fighting the mist also means tracking down Songi. Zopu, Gala, Maya says you will return to Rim Elm. Master Zopu, everyone, I want to thank you for letting me stay here so long. Maya, you're really going back alone? I can go with you. Thank you, Noah, but the mist generator has been destroyed. I'll be alright. Come visit me in Rim Elm sometime. We'll have fun talking, talking together again. Okay. Bon, you've been chosen by the Ross Seru, so don't be ashamed of it. Thank you, I'll do my best. Bon, you're a brave man, and I'll be sure to tell Mai and Val how brave you are. Well, it makes me sad to watch people walk away from me, so I'll leave ahead of you. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, Maya. Yes, good luck to you. Have a safe journey. Just go already, jeez, turn around like nine times. Well, Maya's gone now. Yes, thank you for pointing that out. Vaughn, to the north of Drake Kingdom, people are suffering because of the mist. But we can save them. Vaughn, to the north! Let's go to the north and fight the mist! Follow me, everyone. That's the spirit. Vaughn, you're the leader. We're all counting on you. Vaughn, you're the greatest! She gave me a heart. The North Sebacus Islands in the Karisto Kingdom. I know not how they fare, but you saved the Drake Kingdom, and together the three of you can save the whole world! You're dang right we can save the world. How's it going, Dark Prince? Question of the day. You're a mad scientist with science. You're a mad scientist. What scientific experiment would you run if money and ethics weren't an issue? Uh, how to create a Windows operating system that doesn't destroy my sound settings every time it updates. <laughs> I will sacrifice whoever is necessary to figure it out. So I believe we have to go to the Ancient Wind Cave now. 
Or the Snowdrift Cave, I'm not sure which. Can I get to it from this side? Up snipes. Do, 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 do. Evil Windows Death Court 2020. I, dub. I think there's still enemies on the map even though we got rid of the mist. There's just no Seru. Which there usually isn't Seru on the world map anyways. I'm just gonna get like ostriches. Oh yeah! It's all about those ostriches. Yo, Glass, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. What a legend. Thank you so much, dude. Yeah, the encounter rate should be lower because the mist is gone. And I think it might also be lower on the road. Do we get anything from Zito, by the way? Thank you for the gifted sub to uh, Wall, Acid, Sam the Muffin Man, Haunchy Nickel, and Tens. I don't know why, I just love the frog combos. They look so cool. Yeah, I don't know why Vaughn went last. That was weird. Gala is way slower usually. And also, uh, he's a lower level too. That was like the worst luck roll ever. <laughs> Gala must have gotten like the ultimate luck roll, and Vaughn got like the lowest. How do you do? I am the old wizard. Now that the mist has amazingly disappeared, I was just waiting for a customer. Open my shop. I have everything and anything. Come on to, into the back. This guy's a one-man band. He's an inn and a weaponsmith. Welcome to my shop. I sell powerful weapons. Very cheap. Want one? We'll see about that. Save your clothes are real good. Iron Man boots are real good. <laughs> what am I missing for God? I don't think I have a plate for him. So let's give him that.
but... <laughs> no, why would I want it to open the shop again? I am the innkeeper. <laughs> I love that he wa runs in between the tables. Yeah, the sound isn't working. I was going to fix it, but it's fine. For the Let's Play, it's kind of nice not to have it go off. Sometimes I have it on, sometimes I don't for the Let's Play. So, I'll fix it after Let's Play's done. What's up, RGP? Be sure to check out the uh, three-year three anniversary page. Well, my first customers in 10 years. I'm so happy. I am called the old water witch. I've been in business here for 40 years. But it's been 10 years since I've had any customers. I'm so happy now. Well, come on in. I run a store in an inn. You must be tired. Come along and I'll get you a room for the night. Why would I need another one? What? Oh, stop talking nonsense. You have to stay. Well, okay. We've been kidnapped. Vaughn, Noah! Boo hoo, where are we? We may be dreaming. Perhaps, but if this is a dream, it feels different from an ordinary dream. What's the matter? A voice, I hear a voice! Who is it? My name is Hari. I inhabit a world between the dream world and the human world. I have a message for those in the human world, and who are with the Raseru. They are the true words of Rem. Go to Octum, the ancient yet eternal city far away in the heart of Sebacus. There, compassionate human beings will learn the true meaning of all dreams. Hari. Hari is going to tell us what our dreams mean. Vaughn, I had that dream again. I guess we should find Hari. Yeah, you're right, Vaughn. Welcome to Dream Drop Distance. My inn is open! The beds are dry and warm! No! I already slept. I will buy items from you because you haven't had a customer in 10 years. <laughs> I feel bad. Oh, she has all sorts of cool stuff too, but I don't know if funny. Decreases the rate of being ambushed. Increases allies' rate of attacking first. Increases rate of successful hits. Increases rate of successful blocks. I will buy one healing leaf. You're welcome. <laughs> that should that should keep you going for the next ten years. Do you dream a lot? That's a weird thing to ask. Oh good, I dream a lot too. Dreams tell you about your future, you know. Do you want to learn how to tell the future from your dreams? Sure. I knew it. I knew you were interested in dreams. Somewhere on the Sebacus Islands is a person who lives in a dream world. His name is Hari. Hari? I know about Hari. Can Hari really tell you what a dream means? Yes, my grandma told me so. He's an Octum. Hari is an Octum, right? Octum? I'm sorry. I don't know much about the outside world. Oh, sorry. 
Bon, I've made up my mind. We're going to look. I'm going to look for Hari. Bon, will you help me find Hari? Of course, I'll help you find him. Good. I'm so happy. Thank you, Bon. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes the text in this game, unfortunately, is a bit. I want to go find Hari. I'm gonna go find Hari. Do you want to go find Hari? Let's go find Hari. Welcome back, Flare Spy. How's it going, Zaps? What's up, that kitty? Yes, this is an incredible game. Customers, wait, don't go yet. You're my first customers in a long time. I can't let you go away empty handed. Thanks. Old witch, what is this? What? You know how to, you don't know about the doors of wind? Let's see, where do I start? It's an item that lets you fly anytime to a town you visited at least once. You can't use it in caves or inside a town, but many islands make up the Sebakis Islands. Use the wind door to get around there. Think of your kindness. Oh don't mention it. Well, good luck to you. What's up, Reshi? 